What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we are here with the WPL C24-1. Alright you guys, so as we all know, WPL with these little 116 scales do some great things. They are not all that great out of the box, but they are a fun little truck, especially when you start doing upgrades to them. These things are very, very, very capable for what they are. And what we're going to do is add some upgrades to this thing. First, I got wheels and tires for this, and I am going to be upgrading the suspension that are on here. Now, all the links that I have in the description down below, they are affiliate links. So if you guys uh, will click on those links, get whatever you need, that will help out the channel. So how about the channel? <laughs> Thanks. And um, the first things that I'm going to show you guys are what I ended up getting. Uh, as we all know, the underneath here, everything is very loose and sloppy on these. The, uh, the links, the shocks they're not all that great <laughs> they're really not all that great so i want to upgrade this because i have a very good feeling that this c24-1 from wpl can be a really great truck but it needs some help so we got steering links we got shock towers here steering links shock towers we got suspension we got more of this stuff. We got a whole bunch more links, as you guys can see here. And we got the hoops for all that other stuff. Uh, I also got new wheels and tires for this. The wheels and tires, these are from Amazon. DJ Crawler wheels and tires. They are 1.3 inch wheels and tires and they are almost almost about the same size as the stock wheels and tires that come on here now as you guys can see they are a little bit just a tiny bit shorter but these things are nice and soft nice and supple uh, the other thing I liked about these wheels and tires they got me to getting these wheels and tires are the fact that they bring this little cat try to get I'm trying to keep it with the old school look that the Toyota used to have and I think that these wheels and tires with that little cap on there will just hit it all right on the nail so as you guys can see Everything under here is just way too sloppy. It's all loose and sloppy. I'm not a big fan of that because, I mean, and I'm just literally the drive shaft. So that's, I mean, this gave me a reason not to do anything with this. That's why I just had it like set to the side, but I want to do something with this and I think that this can be a good crawler trail truck crawler trail truck so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking the body off take all these links off from the bottom here and we're going to transfer all of this onto there now the one Thing that I have to let you guys know about this kit that I got from Amazon is that there are no instructions so <laughs> I'm basically going to be figuring this out as I go along so let's go ahead start taking the body off of this thing start taking all these links off and get these new ones on let's do it Alright, so this is what I want her to do. 
I basically wanted to get the body completely separate from the chassis so I can just work on the chassis. It'll be a lot easier. The only thing you're gonna have to do is pop this off here. Pop this off here so you're able to get the lead for the motor. That way the whole body is separate from that. From the chassis. All right, you guys, so now that we have all that separate, you can see how easy it is to get to everything here. So, the first thing I wanna do is basically work on the front end and then I will work my way over to the back end. So, I'm gonna start by taking all of this off. The front is completely off just by removing upper links, lower links, and loosening the shocks on here. And just like that, removing four screws there, this whole piece has come apart. I went with the red, I'm trying to give this thing a little more character. So we go on ahead. Now you gotta be careful with which way you put them because the back here, those are for the shocks. So you gotta be careful on how you put these on. Now, this thing also does come with screws. They are also Phillips head screws, as you guys can see, that come with it. But since the screws that came on here are already threaded onto the drive axle, drive the front clip, I'm gonna reuse them. All right, so now I'm getting ready to go put the suspension on these things. I don't know if these are oil filled or not, but there's already a problem. So as I go to open these up for the uh, shocks here, I kind of find out that that's missing. All the other ones have, I forget what these are called, but now there's one missing on here. So, what I'm gonna do is I have these from the TRX4M. They look to be about the same height. So I'm gonna be using the TRX4M shocks until I get shocks to put on here because again, the eyelet is missing for this guy here. Now the links that come for these things, they look to be pretty nice looking so I'm gonna go ahead start putting these on all right you guys so I made some progress onto this thing and here it is as you guys can see I did not use the shocks that came with it again because of that but I did put the TRX 4M shocks on there um, at least three of them but I'm not liking the way that it's coming out so the way that the shock cap is, it's at the lowest spot there, but it's still hitting and giving me uh, some space as you guys can see right there. So what I wound up doing is I got these off of Amazon, which I will put a link down in the description below. Again, these are all affiliate links, so just hit them up and you can get order your stuff uh, off of Amazon. And, um, I got these these are 61 millimeters they actually look pretty nice looking uh, supposedly they are oil filled but we'll see uh, I'm gonna put these on and we're gonna see how it's gonna look with it and then uh, I also ordered these uh, spacers I also order these spaces again off of Amazon so that the shocks in case I need to add a spacer onto the shocks because it might hit the um, the new shock tower there like this one is doing just like that um, I ordered these spacers which I have more here but I ordered these spacers so that I can put them onto the screw I can put them onto the screw and give the spacing that I need so that the shock doesn't end up hitting that shock tower that uh, had to get put on here. So I'm going to put these Mius, Mius 
I guess it's called Mia's uh, Racing Shocks on here. And I do like the fact that I got it in the red so that way it matches with the links and everything. So I'm going to go ahead, put those on, uh, put the wheels on, and I'll get back to you guys once. I'll get back to you guys once I put the suspension on. So let me put these on real quick. Be right back. All right, you guys, and here it is. About, eh, I'm going to say 95% back together. I still have to put the front links on here, but I need to order uh, new hubs, steering hubs here, because this has this post, these posts right there for the links, uh, for the stock links that you can then, you see how they end up attaching and I have these links that I got to put on. I could cut these off, which I might end up doing, but I'm thinking about ordering uh, metal ones to put here in the front so I can be able to use these. Now, the way that this thing came out, I, I am really liking the way that it came out. It is sitting a little higher than I would have liked it to. Um, I really, I mean, it does look good the way it's sitting. It's sitting a little bit too high. Actually, here you go, so you guys can see it. So I think that it is sitting up a little bit too high, higher than what I really wanted it to, but I honestly think that it does look good. It does look good the way it sits. Uh, the one thing, I think that these wheels actually give it awesome, an awesome look. These covers that came with the wheels that are gonna go on here like so. As soon as I can figure it, there we go. So I think that they actually look awesome. I think these things are gonna look absolutely awesome once it's done. The wheels are gonna look great with these caps on. I wanted to give it that more of that old school look. And I think these wheels with that, with that cap right there is going to give me that look that I was looking for. So the one thing that I have that I ended up doing to get these wheels to fit on there, I ordered, I think I got these off of eBay. These are five millimeter to seven millimeter hex adapters, which these wheels that are on here are seven millimeter, you know, for all your um, 24 scales, they use seven millimeter hex. So that's what these wheels are for. These are actually 1.3 wheels and tires, um, which I love them. So far, they look absolutely great. How are they gonna perform? We are going to see how they're gonna perform. I'm still not done this thing. So I did order this hex adapter off of eBay. And what I gotta do, if you see on this side here, the wheel, if you can really look, right in here you can see how this thing moves a lot so what I'm gonna do is I ordered these spacers right here I ordered these spacers that I am going to there we go right there see so uh, with these spacers what I'm gonna do is just put them in between the wheel and right like that if I can there you go so I'm gonna do something like that to put these guys on so that the wheels aren't moving back in and out because I know that's going to wind up annoying me when that happens. If you guys have the WPL C24-1 like this with the uh, bed on the back and you do go to get this kit, uh, I you're going to have to cut the bed. This is the one thing I didn't want to do. I didn't want to cut the bed, but I had no choice. I really had no choice in the matter. Uh, the way it cut, I don't like the way it got cut. But I had to do what I had to do to get this thing, the body to fit back on there, fit exactly the way it was out of the box. So as you guys can see in the back here, I had to cut that so that the shock tower ends up not, it doesn't really protrude out, um, but it had to, it's pretty much flush with the bed uh, wheel well on, inside the bed here. So it's not that bad, but that was something I was trying to avoid doing was cutting into it 
but I had no choice. So that is one of the things you're going to have to do if you do end up getting this kit uh, or any kit uh, to put the suspension on to the WPL C24-1 like this guy here. Uh, the front came out really good. The suspension, I like how the suspension feels. How is it going to perform? I'm not sure. I think, honestly, that it might be a little too much. Uh, it might be a little too stiff for this little guy. But once I get it out, once we get it out, uh, mostly on the little mini crawler course, we're going to see how this thing's going to perform. Because I'm kind of dying to perform, uh, to see how it performs. Now, the other thing I ended up doing, if you guys see underneath here, I had to adjust the upper links because the drive shaft here was not, I did not like the angle that it was here on the bottom. It was very, very bad. Same with down here. You can actually still see it has a little bit. I can adjust this a little bit more. I just adjusted the top of the link so it ends up basically the drive shaft gives it a little more of an angle um, so it's the connection down here isn't as bad like if you guys see the connection up here I kind of don't like that much of an angle but I mean we're going to see how this thing is going to perform uh, I hope that there's not going to be any binding with it I think that there is I really think that there is going to be some binding so that is where I am at right now with this thing. So I'm going to finish tidying this thing up, uh, put the front steering, put the steering links on in there in the front, add, put these spacers in between uh, the hex adapters and for the wheels. And we are going to take this guy out onto the crawler course and see how it does. So we will be right back outside in the mini crawl course.
morning guys and we're back in the office with the WPL C24 and I gotta say that uh, I'm a little disappointed. I thought this thing was gonna perform a little bit better than it did. I mean it did perform a little bit better compared to the stock tires right here which are actually hard. These things are hard. Um, <laughs> these things are pretty hard and uh, these tires from DJX are pretty soft. They did a one heck of a job. I would love to see how they really perform, but uh, this thing is a little underpowered to be able to sh see exactly how these tires are gonna perform. The motor, I'm gonna have to upgrade. The electronics, I'm gonna have to upgrade on this thing. There's always room for improvement to make this thing better, and that's what I am planning on doing. So. Let me just go over everything that I ended up doing. There's a couple other things that I want to do to this thing. Hit me down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about one of the things that I want to do. And I'll get to that. Just, just stay tuned. I will get to that. Uh, so what I ended up doing was, again, the metal links, upper links, lower links, the steering links I ended up doing. I moved the motor, the servo to the axle, uh, axle mount of servo now. I upgraded the suspension to Mius, me, Mius, Mius shocks. Um, they are internal spring, and you can add oil to them. Uh, so that's what I ended up doing. Uh, this one in particular right here, I ended up taking the spring out of it, and I just filled it with oil. The other three still have the spring in there, but what I'm going to wind up doing is taking taking those springs out and just filling it with oil uh, because I think that this thing is just sitting up a little bit too high that the angle of the drive shaft is not working out right. So that's the other thing that I ended up doing. Um, when I move the servo to the axle what i had to do hopefully you guys can see right up in there i had to cut uh, there you go somewhere up there the tray that the servo sits in when it's under the hood i actually had to cut that out so that the servo when it goes when there's flex in here the servo's not bottoming out on that tray so that's the other thing i had to do uh what else on the back same thing, switched everything out. The, in the bed, I had to cut a little bit of the bed just to get the shock towers to go up in there. Ended up doing that. And that's pretty much all that I did. Of course, tires and wheels, 1.3 tires. And I got the hex adapter from the five millimeter to seven millimeter so I can be able to put these things on. Now, I do have stuff on the way. Um, I believe the steering angle in this thing is not that great. Not that great of a steering angle, so I gotta redo that. Um, but I do have the metal axles on the way. I think it also brings metal drive shafts, so that's the other thing. The electronics on this thing, I have to upgrade also. So I will be ordering the electronics and a new motor because this thing is very underpowered. That motor is very underpowered for this thing and I, I, it's not all that great. Uh, so I do have an idea of what I want to add onto this thing and you guys let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. So these wheels actually came with uh, this. As you guys can see, came with this thing. I think it looks pretty cool. I have an idea of mounting this right there, right about right there somehow. What I want to do is I want to create a, uh, I want to create something that I'll be able to mount this up here like so. And you guys let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Should I add this onto here. I don't want to put it up there. I think it's going to be a little too far forward. I think right about there is going to look pretty cool. Just like that. I think that's going to look pretty cool on this. I think I like it. Uh, the other thing that I might end up doing, I don't know, building like a roll cage, uh, roll bars in here or something and just adding it 
I think that will I think that would actually look pretty cool on here. Have it nice and centered. I think that'll look pretty cool. But uh that is basically where I'm at with this thing, guys. This thing does need more work uh, than I thought it was gonna need. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be um, with the metal links and everything, I thought it was gonna do a lot better than it did. But it's where we're at. So without further ado. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. You all have a good one. Keep our seeing everybody.